problem 14, what you want to do here is you, first you need to identify that this is a slightly different type of problem than um, basically 12 and above. Okay. Problems 13 and 14 can't be solved in that same way of uh, separating the exponents and then uh, equating their powers because they have different sets of multipliers or factors in front of them. And so on this one, what you have to do <coughs> in order to solve it is to set your entire, uh, all your variable terms, all the terms uh, that you have in the equation set equal to zero, then factor it, and then set your factors equal to zero using the zero product rule. So if we look at this, are there any common factors between these two groups of terms? They each have an x, and they each have e to the minus x. So if we remove these as a common factor, what's going to be left has to have the same form as the original. right? You'll hear me say that anytime I go through factoring. Okay, so let's see what's left. We took out one of the x's, so subtract the power, and we took out uh, the e to the minus x. We took out that whole thing. So here we're left with a negative x to the first. In the second group, we took out the x and the e to the minus x, so we're left with a plus 2. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, rewritten this and set it as factors. And so now we can take each individual factor, set it equal to 0, and solve using the zero product rule. So here's our first factor x equals 0. Here's our second factor, e to the minus x equals 0. And here's our third factor, negative x plus 2 equals 0. So if we solve each of these for x, this one's already solved. Okay, let's jump to this far right one. If we add an x to both sides, we get our solution. 2 is equal to x. And then finally, this last one, which is a, a more difficult one. Um, we haven't specifically talked about solving equations involving e. But if you look at this, is there any way you can take um, a positive number that's between, again, 2.5 and, and 3, it's about 2.7 something, and take it to any power, whether it's a positive power or negative power, and come up with nothing? All you can do with the powers is you can increasingly make it larger or increasingly make it smaller, but you can't ever eliminate everything. And so this one winds, out, winds up being a no solution. Uh, for that. And so you wind up with just two answers, 0 and 2.